What are the principles you should follow to crash-proof your retirement? Well, Phil Canella knows, of course. He's a retirement phase expert and the creator of CrashProofRetirement.com. He's also written the book, Crash Proof Retirement, The Planning Isn't Over. And you can hear him on the Crash Proof Retirement radio show Saturdays at 11 a.m. on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT. Welcome, Phil. Thanks, Luann. How are you? I'm good. What are we talking about today? We're talking about sound principles to crash-proof your retirement. There are three basic principles in order to have your retirement last your lifetime. One of the main problems, and it's not a problem, but back in the 1920s, Luann, the average person lived to 55. Right. So if it was the 1920s today, myself at 55 would be an old man, or I might not even be here. Right, and now we've got a plan for a much longer life, we now, hope. Between longevity and inflation, those two things coupled together could make a lot of people not make it through retirement. Because people are living 20 to 30 years into retirement now, and in some cases longer than what they have worked. Right, so how can we make sure we're going to be okay during those years? Well, one of the soundproof ways that you can assure you're going to be okay is that you use an industry for its designed purpose. What do you mean by that? Well, you know, we all learned these fables in, in elementary school, and I never forgot the three little piggy story. I love the three little piggy story. Me too. <laughs> okay. You had the straw house, yes. the stick house, yes. and then there was that brick, brick house. house. We the want a brick house. Yes. I want a brick house. Particularly in retired years, you want to be in the brick house. Yeah. The straw house would be the security industry. When the economical winds uh, blow and it gets strong, what's the first thing that it affects? Stocks, bonds, and mutual funds. We call that the straw house. Now, here's the design purpose. The design purpose of the security industry was to accumulate one's nest egg with risk over a sustained period. Right. So when the straw house started to blow in half, as a young person, you'd have time to, to rebuild. rebuild. Now, if the storms get mm. high enough, the winds pick up strong enough, the stick house starts to collapse, like the banking industry has. When the straw house got beaten down, many people couldn't afford to pay their mortgages or whatever. Now you have over 156 banks collapse in 2010. In, in 2009, you had 140 banks collapse. And the alarming thing here is, in 2011, there's over 852 banks on the FDIC's watch list that means they're ready to go out, and it's estimated that over half will. So the stick house industry was designed, meaning the banking industry, for a temporary holding spot for your money. So if a bill came in, you had it in your checking account, it was temporary, it went out. If you had investment money, you'd put it in the bank until you would find out where you wanted to invest it. Right. Many people misuse both industries. Right. We, we thought we were in a brick house when we were in a stick house. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. All right. So, so the two no. little piggies in the straw house and the stick house ran over to the brick house and started pounding on the door. Big Brother <laughs> opened it up. Yes. And that would be the safe house. The safe house would be the insurance industry. You don't see any insurance companies going into bankruptcy, and you won't. Within that insurance industry, there are 2,700 financial vehicles that will crash-proof one's retirement. But you have to use an industry for its design purpose, and if you do that, it then becomes consumer-driven. Okay, well, First how, principle of being crash-proof. Okay. What's being this? the right industry. Okay. So, insurance industry. All right. Now, so, I'm not wait. talking about insurance uh, products. What right. we're talking about are investment vehicles that will crash-proof your retirement, and they are within that safe industry called the insurance industry. Okay. Other than... Uh, uh, long-term care insurance or life insurance, they have investment vehicles too. And because these companies do not go into bankruptcy, that's why they're very safe. All right, you've got an educational seminar coming up. Tell me about that. Yes, we give these educational events, we call them crash-proof educational events, and we have one for our listeners coming up on January 25th, and that's gonna be at Franco's right here on City Line. In fact, if I lean over far enough, I think I can see it. <laughs> it's right down the street from Channel 10. We start at 11, but people must register, and they can call that number on their screen, 1-800-722. Do I see it? Yeah, 9728. It's right there. 1 800 722 9728. You can call for reservations. That's correct. And we'd like to see everyone come out and enjoy a crash proof recipe and a good lunch afterwards. Okay, and then you will be telling them all about your tips and how they can crash proof their retirement. Absolutely. That's all what right. we do. Phil, thank you so much. You're welcome, Lauren. Thank you. Phil, of course, will be back next week with more Crash Proof Retirement Advice. Crash Proof Retirement Radio Show with Phil Canella is on Saturdays at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Talk Radio 1210 WPHT and 
as he brings books every week to our audience. You have done it again. Phil's book, Crash Proof Retirement, The Planning Isn't Over, goes to everyone in our audience today. Thank you so much. You're welcome,